buddies, welcome to another Poor Man Road to Glory episode. As you guys can see, we've cleared out a few players in the club that I just felt like trying some new people with. Now, let me show you the team because it is pretty bare bones right now. And at the start of the episode, a lot of you guys are going to be happy. We're going to do a relative squad builder. So I want to improve the team in a lot of ways and I want to keep a lot of the players that I've fallen in love with. Mainly, as you guys all know, Ander Herrera has been absolutely exceptional. So I want to keep him a little bit further. We've already made a little bit of coins on him, so I'm happy there. We made, you know, about 5,000 coins on Wijnaldum, so I'm happy there. Uh, Lukaku and Mane are the two guys that, for the start of the episode, I think I'm going to listen to you guys and change them out. Now, the investments are going to start, obviously, with the team of the week that's expiring. We've got a few BPL players that I may be able to invest in. And all around, I just want to improve the team. I think with a 4-1-2-1-2-2 -2 with the center mids, I can get better players than I can with the left mid and right mid currently. Because I can't afford Eden Hazard. I can't afford, you know, Alexis Sanchez. I can't afford the really expensive wingers yet. So I might as well go with center mids. There's a lot of good choices there. A lot of players I want to try out that I haven't even used this year. So we're going to do that first. Then we're going to get into Divisions play. We've made it into, well, close to the end of Division 7. So nice coin boost there. And a lot of you guys are asking me to go back into the FUD draft. So you know what? We may, considering we've made a good amount of profit off of the last two or three episodes... I may consider going into the Fudge Draft and risking it again this episode. Let's just get right into it, boys. Well, I effed up. We just finished recording, I would say, about half an hour's worth of content for you guys. This full squad being built, I just recorded me trying to snipe players, me buying players, me investing in players, starting with the decision to uh, buy and invest in Inform Harry Kane. Same thing with Panty. Unfortunately, I was playing a playlist of copyrighted music, so it wouldn't have allowed me to actually upload the content for today's episode for you guys. And my microphone and voice were completely out of sync with the gameplay and stuff. So I made the decision to just like delete that part of the recording and then just go from here and show you guys how we put together the team and the thought process of how we put together the team. So quickly apologize to the people that are watching this on stream. I'm gonna take like two minutes to just cover what I already talked about half an hour ago. But for today's squad builder, and really even at the intro of the video, as I told you guys, I wanted to try the center mid setup. I can't afford the big expensive left mids and right mids, so I tried to go with the center mid setup uh, that I can afford decent players. So we put this setup together. Harry Kane's inform card, 52,000 coins, is essentially the cheapest uh, we could have bought him at. So I'm happy. I'm hoping by next week, maybe even the week after, Thank you for the $4.20 donation, Frank Grimes. Appreciate it. I'll read that in one second. Um, I think by next week, maybe even the week after, as always, I'm hoping we make two, three, four, maybe six, seven thousand points profit on him. If he plays well for us, I know that his price will go up and I know that he'll be good um, value for money. If he plays poorly, there's a risk that we could lose some coins, right? Because the more people that test him out and he plays poorly for, the more people that are going to sell him. Whereas the opposite, if my, if my luck is good and he is decent... The more people that use them, the more people that will like them and will want to keep them, the less of him there is on the market. Obviously, supply and demand would just dictate that his price would go up. So let's hope that happens. Um, in terms of the rest of the team, money we already had. Herrera, I've already made about five, 6,000 coins on, so I'm very happy there. Maybe even a bit more by now. Uh, Jack Wilshire, great card in real life. Also, I just love the guy. So I want to I wanna use him again at left center mid, left footed, great all around stats. So we're going to go for him. Uh, Davis, I still managed to get at a relatively cheap price, so I think he's worth trying out. Now, there's a lot of players we could have put here, but why not try someone that I haven't really used, you know, see if he's good. He's got good all-around stats as well, so I think my midfield is nice and strong. I wanted to get Nemanja Matic in this position. I think I could have barely squeezed him into the team. Like, I could have maybe afforded him, but I would have had no coins. So, if, you know, one of my players was injured or I needed to do the bronze pack method to get some fitness cards, which I need to do, by the way. So you guys at least get to see that part. We'll, we'll open maybe four or five uh, uh, bronze packs to try and get some fitness cards. Holibas, I'm blown away that he's this cheap. Well, he's not necessarily this cheap. He goes for 1,100 coins. I managed to snag one for 800 coins, so I'm happy there. Uh, Rojo, I paid pretty much his going rate. Really like this card, so happy to use him in the team. Skirtle stayed in the team from last time. He was fantastic, so why take him out? Want to try Kyle Walker. I actually haven't used him this year, so see if he's decent. He's got good stats as well. And then Panty is another investment. I think I don't think, because he's so cheap, 
I don't think he's the type of player that's going to go up in price by three, four, or 5,000 coins because so many people, first of all, are packing him and so many people are probably doing the same thing I'm doing. Like, oh, I'll buy him for his cheapest and store him. I'll buy a bunch of him and store him and then sell him later on for 18, 19,000 coins. So that usually leads to actually players dropping in price when everyone invests in one card. So I may not make big money on Panty, but his stats look great and he's a freaking tree. He's six foot eight. So I got to try him out. Let's just have a look here at who needs fitness. So Mane will need fitness next game. Herrera needs fitness now. So I need at least, let's say, three fitness cards right now. So let's go open, I would say, a minimum of uh, three bronze packs and see how we do. And then I have, I, I can't remember if I even mentioned this as well in this recording, but we're very close to 15,000 coins. I am considering going into the pot draft. We are one point away from winning the division, division seven that we're in. That will actually get us, oh, hello. Um, this guy looks pretty sick. Have I used this guy last year in, in career mode? Why does he look so familiar? Anyways, we're pretty close to going into the FUD draft. So depending on how my gameplay feels, how good I feel, if I'm willing to risk the 15K, I may do it today in this episode as well. Okay, so Sanya probably won't even sell for 200, but I'm gonna toss him up. This has been a pretty poor first bronze pack. You guys, by the way, have been tweeting me like crazy uh, your bronze pack saying, oh my God, Nick, the bronze pack method works. now. The ones that I've retweeted are obviously the best possible bronze packs. Like, guys are getting informs, silver reg, uh, rare cards in their bronze packs. So you guys have way better pack luck than I do. I gotta say that. This Nilton character might sell just because he's Brazilian, which is insane. But, oh my god, what am I doing? I was about to discard this 52 rated Gordon. Ow! Dude, the RIP are ears for $10. It doesn't work to sub RIP in the chat. What? What? Yeah, it does, dude. The sub doesn't work? Oh my god. Hopefully one of the mods didn't... It's right there, dude. The sub the sub link is in the chat for you, bro. <laughs> I, I appreciate you RIPing our ears for that, though. Look at this. Oh, what? Only 200? Remember the one that was 54 rated? We managed to sell for 350 coins. Have I not got a single fitness card yet? Have I not got a single fitness card yet? I don't think so. Still no fitness card. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this guy goes for 200 coins. So let's see. Yeah, 200. Not much more than that. Winter doesn't even have a case or anything. Oh my God! The 13 months of dreams, baby! You're just gonna enjoy this. I'm not editing, editing any of this stuff out of the video either. Dude, the 12 month plus resub song of dreams. Yo, crazy Eddie 99. Thank you so much, dude, for 13 straight months being subbed to the channel. God bless, bro. We get we get, we get the Leroy Jenkins song at least once a stream. So thank you so much. You guys are freaking... The support is unreal, man. You guys make me emotional, man. Yo, Pikiki Leaky, you're alive? Bro, we've been asking about you, man. Pikiki Leaky is literally in my top five ever subscribed to my channel ever. In fact, he's coming up on 23 straight months... This guy's gonna sell for big money. Dude, Pack Luck is back, by the way. He's coming up on 23 straight months being subscribed to the channel. Yo, Pakiki, when is that happening, dude? Oh, God. It may even be today. Um, Nukin28 with a $4 donation says, hashtag gay for Nick. That's okay, bro. Whether you're gay, straight, or whatever. 7,000 coins, dude. I just... Are you serious? Did I just make... I'm gonna do 6,600. <laughs> well, looks like we could go into the foot draft, dudes. And we got a fitness card, and I'll keep the passing. And we got a hundred coins. Yo, man, the dream. Why my 23 month resub is on the ninth? There you go. There you go, Luke. F you, Nick. You're so lucky, dude. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> my pack luck is insane when it comes to bronzes. It may not be very good when it comes to uh, gold packs, although. If, well, if you haven't been watching my streams, wait till I think Thursday. I'm going to upload, obviously, the new Team of the Week uh, video. But also, I'm going to up, uplo uh, upload some highlights within that video of my best pack pulls from this last week. I've hit my best card ever, well, since Legend Crest Bowl last week. Insane, man. Insane luck. So, you know what? No, I think my overall pack luck has just improved. Look at this. This guy will sell. Uh, 80 Fitness. Why do I feel like even this guy will sell? 
I just need... All I'm looking for is fitness cards, man. Nah, he won't sell. He won't sell. Um, Cork City, that looks like a kit that could sell, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's go. Uh, set me on pace. Nick is buying me a present for my 24 months. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know what present you're expecting. Some sexy, some sexy times maybe? Oh, Prodigy! There you go! We get a massive resub, and then right after that, we get a first time subscriber. Thank you so much for taking the uh taking the dive into the Nick Nation. Appreciate the support, dude. Prodigy, make sure you check out all the sub benefits listed down below. You're a gentleman and a scholar, brother. Okay. Atkins, do you sell, buddy? Oh, you beautiful man, do you ever? Still no fitness though, oddly enough. I seem to have a difficult time. I'm keeping these, boys. That wow, for for a half second there. I thought that that was a, um, uh, a legend kit. <laughs> okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. I just need two more fitnesses. Yes. There we go. We got a fitness. Perfect. We got ein. Ein, drei, drei, vier, hutsche, van, papier. I don't, my Oma used to sing that to me. I don't know what that is, but... She did used to sing that to me when I was when I was when I was a young one. What did I just sing to you guys? Ein, zwei, drei, vier, hutsche van papier. Yeah. And I think that was it. Morning stream. What's up, it's Siggy. How you doing, bro? Okay, we need one more. Look at that. Look at that. The dream boys. We almost have enough for the drop. What? Dude. <laughs> The bronze pack method is so good. What the hell, bro? 500? Living the dream. Um, living the dream. This guy may sell. No, I don't think he's gonna sell. Milanus, oh my dude. 10 month resub. So close to the big 12 month. Thank you so much for the support, dude. Appreciate it. God bless, man. Uh, did you see that Sherringham's gonna play for Stevenage at 49? Why not, bro? Why not? Teddy Sherringham. Good old Teddy. Um, all right. Can I please just get a freaking fitness card, man? I think these guys will sell. <laughs> what the? F he has to sell for big money. Oh! <laughs> keep them does his hair look like this in game you know what i'm putting them in the reserves i'm building a team around this guy i'm building it this guy has the most beautiful hair i've ever seen not sure what that is he looks like a lollipop but anyways and he sells for 450 coins dude i'm gonna keep him i'm gonna build a team around him at some point and then um and then we'll sell him on if he if he if he well and truly does suck all right we still have not hit a third fitness card but you know what with this, with this type of pack luck, I am not going to complain, man. Dicker. Just because of your name, you probably sell for a bit more than discard. <laughs> okay, I'm opening packs for free right now. Dicker I should have probably kept. This guy... Oh, I forgot! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to keep MLS and Irish players for the tournaments that are coming up in like three, four months. In before this account gets hacked, before I even have a chance to play those tournaments. But anyways, I really hope not. It looks like a used Q-tip. Ew, man. If your ear has red coming out of it, you got you got some problems. Wow, this is actually the first shitty pack, but hey, there's the fitness. I'll take it. Um, all right. Yeah, wow. That's the first pack where I've lost uh, pretty much all my 400 coins. Anyways, I should have kept them. I should have kept Dicker. All right. So, we're ready. We're going to apply the fitness cards, and then we're going to go into our first game. Interesting setup. This is a heavy Tottenham influence through the middle of that team. Why he has Eric Lamella in the middle of the park, I will never know. But I guarantee you, it will not affect him negatively in any way, shape, or form. First game of the day? Come on, Nick. This is always my shittest uh, performance, but let's see how we do. Come on, Harold Kane. Show me what you got, bud. Come on, bud. No do to boot it, bud. People seem to think that just because I'm, like, from Canada, I'm going to have some horrendous... Ooh, well. See this? 
Ooh, 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 good start, boys. Two minutes in. I like it. I like it. There we go. What the hell? No Walker. Herrera doing work again. Herrera! Oh, oh god. Herrera, all the blocks, dude. The pressure is real. Uh oh. Oh, well, it was real. Now we're gonna get countered. No, we're not. Just kidding. Rojo, keep the pressure on. Oh, I love it. It's fucking. It's lit, boys! Oh, he's, oh god, this guy's so pinned in his own end. Wait, what the hell? Come on, man. Simple passes let me down so much. Oh, he doesn't have anything, right? Harry Kane, yeah. Harry Kane does have, doesn't have any skills, but he has the ability to finish his chances. Oh my god! First 10 minutes, boys! We're killing it right now! Alright. Bring it up. Come on. Herrera. Herrera! Oh, freaking hell! Tim Howard! Boys, we are killing it right now. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. Oh! I thought that sprint dribble would work. Where are you going with this, dude? I'm still... I'm, dude, you know what? You guys may be getting this entire freaking play. Passage of play. Come on. I think I just... Oh my god, what the hell? No. Are you serious, bro? Oh! No, Nick, that's a panic clearance. Why would you do that? Okay, Luke Shaw. If I can intercept this, Luke Shaw. Look how, look, look how far out of position he is. Wow, deflection of dreams right there. No, come on, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Wow, man! It all started from that absolutely insane deflection. Theo Walcott, just perfect representation of how the gameplay goes for me. Dominate, 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 dominate. Crazy deflection, first shot on target for my opponent. Goal. That's mine. Boom! There we go, boys! Simplistic as all hell. I'm so sorry for like, you know, going completely silent there, but I just, I had to, man. I had to concentrate. I had to sweat it out there. You know that right here, even though it was Ander Herrera, if I took that one time uh, shot, Howard would have come up with the save. So there we go. 1-1. One, one. I'll take it. That's what's up, boys. That's what's up. Hello? Oh! Okay. Can't wait to see the halftime stats here. It's going to be incredible. Who has the ball? How do you still have the ball, sir? Holy bus! What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at the bounces! I just... Honestly, I can't... I can't... No. Just this is the first game. This is the first episode. You know what? I just... Just... Just calm down. Just calm down. This game is... Oh my god. Two shots. Two goals. Look at that deflection. Sets him up and then he scores that? Yo, man. What? Panty has faced, informed Panty has faced two shots and conceded two goals. So a few of you guys saying he was complete trash. Now I'm now I'm starting to be a little sad because you guys may be correct. Davis, please! Oh! <laughs> so close to an instant reply! Wow! How the fuck? How does that just break down? I gotta, I gotta take the... Rip! What? How? Am I actually losing 3-1? Am I serious? Pantimilar... What? I mean, I tried to take the pass there. Put it in, you f boy! Put it in the net! What the hell is going on, man? Headed 
in the net, it bounced to you in front of the net. Did he just save that? For God's sakes, did he just save that again? Give me something. Give me something, man. Give me something. Yeah, I mean, it's a little late, bro. When I get 4,000 chances on net and I score to make it 3-2 in the 93rd minute. Like, yeah, that was a great goal. But it does. Oh, this game makes me so angry. Harry Kane is very good, I gotta say. But, like, come on, man. This game is so scripted, it's insane. Like, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, you hold on to the win, bro. Okay, whatever. I just... Oh, I probably edit out all, edited out all of that salt. I'm just gonna show you guys the freaking goals of that game. Because, you know what? Just me showing you guys a thousand chances and me missing is just me showing you the same thing I show you every freaking episode. Like, who cares? Who cares at this point? Opponent, there you go, 9.0 rating. Opponent gets three shots on target, three goals. Fucking Howard, only eight saves, really? Are you serious? 5.5 rating for Panty. I'm not gonna say anything because I look at this team and think, yeah, I am gonna stomp this guy. Never seems to happen. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, gonna try and be humble you know and and maybe be non-confident and just pray to god i can get a draw all we need slide tackle oh my god all we need is a draw boys that's it watch this guy just be a hero with this team this was a green connection i'm not entirely sure why there's a bit of lag that's mine oh come on boys see how this guy plays he's got he's got two wing backs at center back any other human being on earth that plays fifa that would affect them that's a great pass Oh, sorry, sorry. I wasted it. Wasted. Who am I apologizing to? I don't know. Okay, well, there you go. Just like that. That's offside, right? Okay. Why am I so easy to counter? I need to figure that out. That's my like one of my questions. Maybe for you guys in the comments. Maybe even for my stream. Why am I so... like? I feel like about a hundred times a game, I'm hit on a counter where my opponent has... Two to three forwards attacking one or two of my center backs. Like, why do I hold? Like, do I hold too much possession? I don't. Look, well, I guess I do stupid. Did I just answer my own question? Did I just answer my own question? Oh my god, I suck. Just, you know what? That's the only answer there is. That's the only answer there is. Clearly, I just make stupid passes. That's a great pass, Harry Kane. I should be able to get away here. As always saves us what a bit of work from Mane though just taking his time waiting for Herrera to open up his body which is exactly what he did unbelievably his player almost intercepted that as well I, at least I got credited for it that's cool no 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 holy god Rojo get rid of it Skirtle oh we need this here we go oh this is nice Don't worry, Radu, left back of dreams. Okay, okay, this is good. 90th minute, of course something will happen in the 90th minute, whether it's for me or my opponent, something will happen. Great pass to Mane, great pass. <laughs> Anyways, whether or not you guys saw that goalkeeper rugby tackle in about the 80th minute or the 76th minute or something like that, I don't know, but whatever we'll take the one nothing win we've won the division i actually think we're now up to enough coins to go into the foot draft i mean honestly i think we're gonna do it i have a decent team uh, i also have a decent amount of coins in this team that i could like clear out if i needed to panty i gotta say even after two games he made one or two good saves in that last game but he's not worth the thirteen thousand coins i gotta be completely honest with you here uh davies is okay but honestly, for 3,000 coins, I think I'd do a lot better getting Fernandinho in this position. I, I just would. Fernando is someone I think I am going to replace. I've not been impressed with this specific card at all. Even though he's got medium-high work rates, again, it seems like everyone, he just pushes up the field. So the one thing I'm going to do before we go into the foot draft 
is I am going to get Fernandao to just stay back. Get him to cut passing lanes, stay back, and maybe do aggressive interceptions, which is fine. Break up the play. That's it. I don't want him moving up the field anymore. Anyways, let's go into the foot draft, boys. I'm risking it. We, 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 we've just earned ourselves enough coins to get into it by uh, uh, being promoted into Division 6. So here we go. Oh, my lord. Oh. Oh, 4 one 2 and 2 but with the center mids. Dude, I would have clicked this normally because I would have thought that was... Uh... Crap, what do you guys think? Or 4 4 2 flat. I'm used to 4 one 2 and 2 I think I should go with 4 one 2 and 2 but this is with the center mids as well. You know what? We're going to try and do well in the foot draft. So I'm going to go with a formation I'm very familiar with. Let's see what we got. Oh my god. I mean, you just have to. I know that this is very boring for you guys, but I just have to. Uh, you, a lot of you are going to say, oh, but you could get Purple Ronaldo. I'm just going to go for the Inform Ronaldo. He's going to go right on the bench. And then we'll use him as a super sub where we need it. So let's see at striker what what uh, what our options are going to be. There you go. Got a bit of Mane action who we're already using. That's a little bit boring, isn't it? What about uh, what about a Bundesliga setup around Chicharito? I think I'm, I'm going to do that. See if we get another one, like an Inform Alba? Or not... Gamero would be... Oh my, Gio De Santos. Do we go with like a... Why not? Mexican Strike Force? That could be pretty fun. Could be pretty fun. Could also be pretty terrible. But that's okay. Let's let's risk it. It's all about lighting coins on fire, right? Okay, now I don't know what to do. Now I don't know what to do. Now We, we really do need to make a decision. Both the striking options weren't that great. This goes fantastic. And we could put together a BBVA setup. Whereas if I go with Santi, I do know that no matter what, I'm going to get a couple of a couple of Barclays Premier League strikers. I haven't used Santi this year. I'd actually be tempted to try him out. Isco's incredible, though. Oh my god, boys. I don't know what to do here. Okay, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. Let's see if we can get ourselves some BPL forwards. If we do... Oh, what do we do? Oh my god, Neymar? Neymar and Ronaldo at striker? Just roll with guys off of Ken? Or do we go with someone like Arturo Vidal and we can actually, actually link him up? Same thing like Krykoyak. I don't know what the hell to do. Wow. This is a pretty weak setup, boys. I think I decided a pretty... I, I decided... I went already. I know there's people in the comments freaking out. I already went with a... Um, Arturo Vidal. Most people are saying Vidal. I already went with like a tough setup as it is. Like this, it's just I didn't get a Bundesliga center attacking mid to make this choice uh, uh, easy. <gasps> oh! God, De Bruyne, Yaya, Fabregas, Iniesta, oh, Freddy Guarín. I have De Bruyne on my main account, boys. And I know a lot of you guys would want me to use him. Well, I actually think I go... I actually think I go Yaya with this one, dudes. I think I go Yaya with this one. Do we now just try and try and go for a BPL setup? Fabregas would obviously give Santi a bit of a bit more chem. Everyone's gonna say De Bruyne. I know everyone's gonna say De Bruyne. De Bruyne because I could use him at um, I could use I could use De Bruyne at Cam. Move Santi to right center mid as well. I mean I could do the same thing with Yaya though. Tempted. I'm tempted to go Yaya, boys. I'm gonna go Yaya. I know you guys are gonna get pissed no matter what, so I'm gonna go Yaya. Um, all right, this doesn't matter all that much. I'm gonna go Van Ginkle just because he's in the league. But thinking we do something along the lines of that, and maybe just replace. Like if I get a BPL striker, get a BPL striker, and I, I'm fine to use Chicharito off of Kem. It's okay. You know what? I lose so many games to teams that have absolutely horrific chemistry. I shouldn't be too scared to do it myself. Oh my lord. Wow, of course. So, we got a Barclays Premier League. So we got two Bundesliga CDMs that could link up with... 5'10", he's super, super short. 5'7", high, high. Do we go with MacArthur? Oh, this is the worst foot draft ever. Okay, come on. Hit me up with a striker, please. Wow. Wow. We're, we're going with it, boys. I'm going to use... 
I'm gonna freaking use Inform Fletcher here. <laughs> wow. Such strike force. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see here. Let's go. What are we gonna get at left back? Please, God, let there be a... Okay. Yes! That's the dream right there. Perfect. Okay, so I actually don't... I mean, we could go with whatever we want. We could go with whatever we wanted to at center back. That's not... Won't be the end of the world. This is an easy choice again, though. Although, Inigo Martinez is incredible. Left-footed as well, so it works perfectly. But anyway, I'm going to go with Rojo. He's got a shadow as well, which is solid. Wait, what? Are you sure you'd like to exit? No, no, no. I don't want to exit. Now, come on. Give me a Bundesliga right back to get Vidal. Oh, my God. Okay. So, here's the question for you guys. Do we try to put together, like, a boring VPL team and then bring in the super subs? Like, I'm thinking we just put Coleman in the team. Hmm. I think that that's what we do, boys, and then super sub in who we need. I think that's the smart play. Like this. You know what I mean? And then, so Vidal would end up being a super sub. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, definitely. This is, this is, this has made my choice much easier. Okay, so we've recovered, boys. We've recovered here. We've recovered. So we've got a relatively boring VPL team. Please? Oh, you bastard. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, okay, so Argentinian? No. Okay, I'm going to go with a little bit more... Worst case scenario. How many Brazilians are in the DPL? Better than Sommer. So I'm going to go with Alves just in case we get another... Oh, this is not good. Okay. Come on. So BPL striker, BPL goalkeeper, or nothing. Or absolutely nothing. There's nothing I can use here. There's no one I would be willing to use from this setup. Okay, so we'll go with Fairy. Fairy Godmother. Um, not even Inform Hulk. Seb G you know what? You guys have tried you guys have all asked me to use Geovinko, so what about Ronaldo and Geovinko up front? Hulk is good. I already have Inform Hulk on another account, and I know he's incredible. I haven't used Geovinko this year. So you know what? That's what we're going for. Hope to God I didn't miss a... Yes! Begovic! Get in, bro. Get in. There we go. Okay. I'm somewhat screwed. I really hope I didn't miss a... Um, a, a striker there that I could have used. I really hope I didn't... Yeah, I really hope I didn't miss a striker I could have used. Dempsey. Holy God. So then the question is, do we just get Neymar as well? What do we even do? I mean, I... Oh my gosh. The decisions! They're so difficult! Okay. Alright, whatever. It looks like we're using Chicharito off of Kem. Does this improve Kem or make Kem worse? Okay, because they both go on 7 Kem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're... You know what? Worst case scenario, I could do that. I could do that. And then just bring on Ronaldo for whoever. Yeah, that's not so bad, actually. Comes up to 98. Woo! Jesus! Sean Kidd with a $5 donation. Thank you, bro. I can't check your squad. Um, tweet it to me, buddy. And I will check it. I just... I can't check it while I'm... Okay. So no one's going to get a strong link. Not going to lie. I've not used Inform Ericsson. I know Payet is incredible. I know he's... He's awesome. Um... But I really want to... Oh, God. I really want to use... See, see the shit. My ears, Ramus, sir! W-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-H, Kappa. Thank you, Mr. Ramus, sir, with the $10 RIP our ears. Appreciate it, brother. Um, Oh, God. Okay. Willian, I can't use for striker, boys. Ramirez... Yeah, we could use Ramirez at right center mid, couldn't we? We could use Ramirez at right center mid. Instead of Van Ginkle. Yeah, I guess Santi's... De I can't believe that I would consider going with Ramirez. I need a CDM. Ramirez at CDM is not really someone I'd want to use, though. High, high work rates? Seems like a big problem. Seems like a big, big problem. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think this guy will be just fine. What's his face? McCallum or whatever. Or we could use... Could we use Payette at anyone at right or left center mid? No. 
No, it's not going to work. I'm not going to get a strong link for any of these guys. Not even Ramirez. Mm, I think we go... Do we go Erickson for the free kicks? Do we go Erickson for the free kicks? Put him at right center mid? I think we do that. I think... I'm sorry, man. I know a lot of you guys would have wanted that uh, to be a bit different. But I think Erickson at right center mid. And who knows? Maybe we'll get Kyle Walker and put Erickson on, on full chem. Or, I mean, you know, Hector Bellerin or something. We could put Santi at right center mid. Uh, so that's... It won't be the end of the world. Okay. What else do we got here? Give me a CDM. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy I didn't listen to anyone. You guys all wanted Ramirez for CDM. Low high work rates? I have not used Lee Cattermol. Does he get red cards in Ultimate Team as well for fun? I'm actually gonna... I know Kuyate is incredible. I know. Trust me, he's very, very good. Just to change it up a little bit, I'm gonna go with Lee Cattermol. You know, you know Dan at FutWiz would be super happy with that. Alright. Let's try that. Uh, okay, so center backs, right, so let's look for wing backs, whether it's a Spurs or Arsenal wing back, or, yeah, yeah, really, that's, that's what we're looking for, that is what we're looking for, mm, Bemba, I don't need a better center back, who's my right, ah, uh, he's not, you know what, he as well isn't, isn't better, isn't, no, he's not better than Coleman, I haven't even used Coleman, so I don't even know what I'm talking about, neither have I used Nyom or whatever, and Bemba could be a good super sub, though. Could be a good super sub. Yeah, I think I think that's a good call. Don't use that swine. <laughs> oh, people are so mad at me using Catamol. I love it. Um, Miranda. I just picked another another center back to be a super sub. Miranda would be a good one as well. Not no one there that I can really use. So let's go Miranda. And this will probably be Silvers. No! Oh my god! K oh my! Uh, well, no one that really fits in the team, so I'm gonna put Kaylor Navas in as a super sub. Wow! Relatively shit team, I do have to, I do have to say. I do have to say. Alright, I think this is what we're gonna work with. We have Neymar and Ronaldo we could bring into the team. Like, I could even put Neymar at Cam if I wanted to. Put Ronaldo at left or right striker. That's not the end of the world to me. Uh, Giovinco we'll put in for MacArthur. Dude, I've got a... Oh my god, I've got such a substitute bench. What am I talking about? We'll put, like, Vidal at right center mid and probably move Ericsson. I might even sub out. I might even sub out Santi. Instantly. I have so many goalkeepers. What the hell am I doing? Alright, do we just put Fletcher in for the bants? Do we put Fletcher in for a bit of banters? Okay. OCD boys, you guys know the OCDs that I has? Halves? Ah, the bench is better than the starting 11. That's slightly embarrassing. All right, I don't care about the reserves. No one cares about the reserves. There we go. Uh, so manager, I mean, a Mexican manager would be lovely. BPL manager would be great as well. Both would be even more awesome. Okay. I think it's safe to say that I'm probably going to lose this game. This guy's team is infinitely better than the team I managed to put together. Uh, I think my formation is a little bit stronger than this guy's setup, but... I'd be interested to see, like, what this guy has. I mean, I'm just going to bring on my, my best. You know what, boys? I know this may be, in a lot of people's eyes, a crappy thing to do. But I want to try and win this. I really, really do. I really want to try and win this. So let's let's just roll with this. And then at halftime, if, if the rest of the team needs a bit of work, like if Santi isn't playing well, we can bring on Vidal. Uh, Lewis, if you keep spamming the chat saying, why sub? I don't understand the benefits. Two things. Mubot's going to time you out for being annoying and spamming the chat. Second of all, go read the benefits to subbing, bro. There's actually a lot, a hell of a lot there to make it worthwhile. Yes! There we go, baby. I'll take it. one nothing, And I'm going to build on that. Obviously, I'm not talking about subbing to my YouTube channel because that's free. But uh, paying a small amount per month to sub to my channel, there's a lot of benefits, man. You get to be in the sub mode section. I do giveaways every week. I do massive giveaways at the end of the month that if you even win the smallest one, you've paid for your subscription to the channel for a year. Um, among so many other things, man. We're a massive community. Obviously, most people that choose to subscribe to my channel is not to get a benefit, but it's actually just to support the stream. Um, and to allow me to do this every day, like, a as an actual job. Um, and to say thanks maybe for entertaining them, you know, to just take that extra step in terms of just watching my streams, but supporting them. Um, so I really do think that's the main thing. If you're looking for, a, like, benefits in general, 
to subscribe to streams you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons but i don't blame you i mean everyone has their own reasons to to subscribe to someone's channel so i guess there's my very confusing and uh oh he's got ronaldo too no surprises there my confusing and long-winded answer yo homie i'm sorry mubot i gotta apologize to both mubot and reign of chaos that is the most ridiculous pass ever for a goal I've ever... <laughs> Who in their right mind would dare to make a pass like that with Ronaldo? Look at that! No! Watch it, dude! You deserve to watch that replay! What a pass and what a decent goal from uh, Hakan or Hakan. Yeah, yeah! Oh, Ronaldo! That's a pen! That's a pen! I'll take it! That's a little bit of a cheesy pen, especially near the end of the half, but uh, I'll take that. That is definitely a pen. You know what? Whatever. I'll give it to Yaya. Woo that was close. That was close. I'm not going to watch the replay, but there we go, boys. 2-1. Questionable, I would say, definitely. But Yaya, um, put that away nicely. Holy shit. Oh, what a tackle! Boom! <laughs> Lee Cattermole, boys! Lee effing Cattermole just got himself an assist. Look how happy he is! <laughs> oh, look at this little this little spin blew up his brain. And then Ronaldo finishes near post chances like like it's nothing. What a shot, dude. What a freaking shot. All right. 3-1. Please, baby Jesus. Let us just hold on to this. Great shot, bro. Colo. Colo. Does Begovic have a long throw? Oh, yes, he does. That was stupid. Oh, I'll take it, boys. There it is. End of the game. 3-1 win. I think fully deserved. Let's see. I think his Kaylor Navas made a lot of it. Lee Catterbull, man of the match. And you guys were all screaming at me for using him, saying I was a dumbass. Look at that. Kaylor Navas with seven saves. Begovic with one save. And Lee Catterbull, man of the match, boys. Let's get into the second round. I don't know. I'm assuming like Messi is going to be either moved up field or he's going to bring on probably Ronaldo at right strike or something crazy like that. Decent setup. We'll see if he starts out. I'm going to take your guys' advice. All right. A lot of people are saying, Nick, wait to sub in your big boy strikers, Neymar and Ronaldo, into the second half because having those guys against uh, weak center backs or tired center backs is even more effective than just having them start against completely fresh center backs. So I think I'm going to try that. I may or may not have taken a deflection. Did that take a deflection? Nope. That was just an awful shot. Oh, okay. So so he's bringing on. He's bringing on the big dogs. Gonna take your guys' gonna take your guys' advice and just not. That's a foul. Thank you. Okay, not bad. Now, do we give this to er I'm assuming inform Ericsson's got better free kicks than Yaya. Unless he doesn't have the power, then maybe. I think I go Ericsson. I think I go Ericsson, boys. I just have to put a little bit more power on it from 30 yards. Let's try this. Probably not enough power. It's beautiful! Oh my god! Foul. No call. It's beautiful! It's beautiful! Oh! He's got a five star as well! Five star! Twice in a row! Uh, you going back to Pastore? Who are you going to? Bit of cheese going on here? What? First freaking opportunity, man. Like, I don't... <sighs> so there are the halftime stats. Not much to show you guys in the first half other than me just raging. Um, of course, as always, my opponent, one shot on target, one goal, and he's done pretty much nothing else. Keep that run going, Neymar. Instant impact! Vidal! Oh my god! Shoot, you vagina! 
fine! Ah, oh, that was good. I mean, I will... Are you f***ing serious? Come on! You're Neymar! Inform Neymar at that! Put it in the net, bro! I'm aiming near post! Like, you've got a five-star weak foot! Why am I shooting? Why am I crossing with Ronaldo? Oh! It's a great ball in! Did he just hit that? Did Danilo just outhead Ronaldo? Oh! Get off my butthole! How is Diego Godin faster than Ronaldo? I just couldn't accelerate away from Diego Godin? Ronaldo 95 pace, Diego Godin 70 pace. Perfectly keeps up with Ronaldo. Legit. Legit. Yeah, I, I think that's honestly the, the, the best advice I can give you guys. Foot draft, don't touch that shit, man. Unless you're like a pro FIFA player, you know? Like, I'll win a fair amount of them, but it seems like the freaking foot draft. Like, on the poor man road to glory, my luck in the foot draft has been horrific. I've won it like eight times on my main accounts. On the freaking foot, on, uh, on the poor man road to glory, I can't do anything. It's over, boys. It's so over, man. That'll be a foul. Oh, just... Just blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Do everyone a favor, man. This guy can do absolutely no wrong right now. Look at this. Like... <laughs> Great. What deep can do, man? Who cares? Oh, ah, yeah. Big surprise. Started, what did we start with? 18 or 19,000 coins, right? We started this foot draft. Let's see. Again, let's see what we end up with. A jumbo gold pack and two 5k packs. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Let's see what we come out of here. Stefito, thank you for the three month resub, dude. Appreciate the support. Goodness gracious. Oh my god. There is nothing here that is going to sell for anything. Hoffman might sell for a little bit more than discard. I don't even think he will. Oh my god. Okay, so Hoffman doesn't even sell for discard. None of these other guys will. Uh, contracts, I'll sell at a later date. Fitness, I'll sell at a later date. So we might get, you know, I don't know, two, three thousand coins. Two, probably, probably a thousand coins out of those contracts. So, oh, I'm going to cry myself to sleep, boys. RIP 15,000 coins. See you later. Like, what am I expecting as well from these stupid things? None of that's going to sell. All of that will sell for a little bit. Another thousand coins, but not much after that. Look at that. All right. So, this is what's going to save us here, boys. The jumbo. Please, for the love of God, just give me something that saves a bit of our coins. Highest rated player, Gregory Vanderveel. Okay, that's not awful. That's not awful. I think Gregory Vanderveel sells for a little bit, right? Or does he go for discard? Oh, shit, son. Okay, well, you know what? I'll take it. It's better than it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. I'll, I'll list him up for 1,200. That's fine. Maxim, even though he's got five-star skills and is in the Bundesliga, I'm assuming he doesn't sell for very much. Oh, 1,200 again. God. All right. I'd be I'd be surprised if they go for anything more than a thousand. Uh, this guy won't sell. None of these guys will sell. We'll keep him. Sell this stuff at a later date. Okay. Oh my god. Well, there you go, boys. So I think we were at about 18,000 coins. We, we, we've lit 8,000 coins on fire, give or take. I do think I'm going to make a few changes, boys. Uh, one of the main ones, again, Panty. Uh, I think I called it, though. I looked at this right here, his stats and his owners, and I, I thought to myself, and I don't know if I've said it or not in the video or not, but 11 owners, 22 games. It seems like genuinely... Aaron Clifford, thank you for the five month resub. Appreciate the support, dude. God bless. Um, it feels like genuinely people buy him and then are like, use him for one or two games. They're like, oh my God, he's awful. Sell him on, which is exactly what I'm about to do as well. Honestly, I know he's not going to sell for anything. I mean, he may sell because I'm going to list him up for, uh, for 9,000 or 10,000 coins start price. But I would not recommend him to anyone, man. I wouldn't. Like this one's got contracts and stuff, so it'll probably sell for what I paid for him. But... I would not recommend him. Just stick with 
you know, stick with anything. Like, anything better. And same thing here. Inform Davies, uh, I think we got him for cheapest possible price. So I'm going to put him up for 10,000 start. Yeah, I'll put him up for 10,000 start and put him up for 14. Um, 13,750. That's not even, that's not even to cover the loss in coins on taxes, but whatever. We'll get our, we'll get our coins back there. And I just need to be a little bit more intelligent with this, with this team setup. I'm actually thinking of selling on Skirtle as well. Uh, again, I hate to say that, like, I thought he was decent. Um, 12 contracts. Okay, so you may go for a little bit more. I think, I still think he's decent, but now that I've got Rojo in the team, I'm noticing, like, how much better Rojo is than Skirtle. And, um, I need someone with medium-medium work rates to partner up with Rojo. So, let's get a right center mid. Again, I'm tempted to go with, uh, Fernandinho, but let's just have another look. Change the team up ever so slightly, because I, I'm not, I'm not ex ex excessively happy. Uh, oh, should I relist all those players that we put up? Uh, wow, Waniyama doesn't even... Even though he's got a chem style? Really? All right, we'll toss him up for 800. I'll reduce his price a little. Um, do I just... Should I just use Howard again? I don't think he's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. Where did Howard go? Should I just use Howard again? Instead of going to buy... You know what? Let's do it. I'll just use Howard again. Let's get ourselves a right center mid. I'm going to list up all this shit again. Um, like I said, boys... You just gotta be patient, man. You gotta keep relisting stuff, and they do eventually sell. Just gotta be patient. Uh, yeah, let's. We'll put Howard in the team, and then we'll we'll worry about a right center back and a right center mid. There we go. Okay. All right. So I think we'll try and spend most of our money at right center mid. Fernandinho is definitely in the in the main running. I can't really think of anyone else that I would want. Ramirez. How much is Ramirez? Ramirez would be the dream right center mid, actually, now that I think about it. Perfect. Perfect stats in every every word, every sense of the word. How much is Ramirez? I think he's a bit too expensive, isn't he? He'd take all my coins. So I'd have to go with a really crappy... I'd have to go with a really, really crappy uh, right center back. Sissoko Ramsey... Ramsey would be fun to try out. Ramsey could be fun to try out. Teote, I think, better as a CDM. Yeah, Aaron Ramsey could be could be really fun to try out. Milner, I guess they're pretty similar. Milner actually has... Wow, what? Okay, that's odd. Uh, Darren Gibson, no thank you. Not Milner, sorry. Did I just... Did I, did I actually say Milner? Oh my lord. Henderson. Yaya, the dream is to one day be able to get Yaya back in my... Uh, in my setup. Now, uh, Dembele, as much as I like, I already have Wilshire. Wilshire's been great as a left center mid. How is Ramsey? Anyone used Ramsey? Huh? Try Rambo. Coutinho would be great, but again, we don't have we don't have the coinage. Erickson. I mean, Ramirez would be the dream. Honest to goodness, Ramirez would be the dream. He's just got like that 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 pace. He's got high high work rates of so moving up and down the field. I think Ramirez. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can try and snipe his ass. Let's try. Not even snipe his ass, but just get him for a decent price. He can be a uh, center. He can be a. There he is. He can be a CDM as well. Just try and get the cheapest possible Ramirez. Johnny Evans. Use Johnny Evans at right center mid. Let's not be crazy now. Ramsey's pretty good. Isn't Ramirez less than that? Yeah, it could be because he is a... No, he's definitely not less than that. 11.75, boys. That's big money to be putting on a right center mid, isn't it? What do you guys think? 11.5. Maestro, 48 games, though. Could make... Could make a little bit of coins off of this guy. I don't know. I don't know. Ramsey is good for goals and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's basically like getting someone that's a little bit better everywhere else other than pace, right? Whereas Ramirez is maybe a little bit worse than Ramsey in most stats, but he does have that very useful pace. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know if I want to do this, boys. That's a lot of coins. We still need a right center back. You know what? I know Ramirez is good. Um, this is going to be my, my reasoning for it. There's still a lot of players that I have not used 
Ramsey being one of them. So I'm going to go for that. Also, he's a hell of a lot cheaper at almost three times cheaper. So I'm going to go for Ramsey. He might even be less than... Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. 35 seconds, 3,800 coins. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. 3,500. Okay, there we go. Then we can get ourselves a pretty decent center back. Right-footed center back, boys. What do we think? He's got an engine chem style. I think we actually did pretty damn good. I didn't pay attention that he had a chem style. Good amount of contracts. I think we got him for cheap as possible, so not bad. 3,600 seems like it. All right, where, why am I backing out of this? Right center back. Let's clear it all out. Right-footed. We've got... I'm going to give myself the 9,000 coins to spend. So Zuma, I think, would probably be the, the best bet. Smalling would be another one. You know what? Smalling might be even better. Yo, what do you guys think about Chris Smalling? I don't, have I even used Chris Smalling this year? Yo, what about um, Alderweil? Is Smalling decent? I, I don't remember using Chris Smalling this year. I would love... Whoa, that was weird. I would love to get... Uh, this guy is sick. Can confirm that uh, Cameron is very good. Smalling. I might be boring and just get myself Smalling. Gila Boji is left-footed, so I already have a left-footed. <clears throat> Smalling is sick and his height is good. I would love to get Vincent Company. Yeah, six foot four is super useful, hey? Never thought I'd be putting two United players at center back for me, though. Seems a little blasphemous. Uh, Jags, Mangala, yeah. Mangala might be a step up, hey? Mangala might be a step, step up from Rojo. I personally would just love to buy myself that Inform Zuma. I can't afford him right now, but once those other Inform sell, I actually could get close to affording Inform Zuma. That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. Um, well, so we're, we're actually pretty limited to what, to, to what we can afford. We're pretty limited to what we can afford. Akore, I didn't find that great. This guy is pretty sick, man. The fact that he sells for near... Cahill. Oh, he's a bit too expensive. Cahill would be nice. Otamendi would have been really cool. Jan Vertonghen's left-footed, unfortunately. High medium work rates as well. Gabrielle's a good card. Got really good work rates, but I don't, I don't know if his work rates will mix well with Rojo. Because Rojo's got that medium-medium life. Gomez. This guy's injured too, hey? I'm lucky, man. Um, Kabul. Colo. Colo, Colo. Colo. Na, 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 na. You know what? I don't know why. Go with the Belgian beauty? But then I'm like, I'm replacing like for like. You know what I mean? He's not that much better than Skirtle. In any... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. In any statistic at all. In fact, there's a few that he's worse. So I think, I think Smalling's going to be the one. JT, no, this guy's medium high as well. Otherwise, I probably would have went for him. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm okay. So that took me a long time to basically just go with my original choice. Let's try Smalling. I can't remember if I've even used him this year. Yo, fellow Leeds fans, just ignore that I'm using two Man United players uh, in the core of my team. I think that's it, right? I don't think I'm using any other Man United players. 2300. Okay, so if we can snag him for 2000, that ain't bad. There you go. Okay. I think that's a well put together team, personally. I like it. Rondon is scary. Wijnaldum is scary. Um, uh, Cameron Jerome is scary. His midfield, I think, is full of good players. I personally didn't find Fabian Delft great. But otherwise, that's a good team. So, I do think this is going to be the last game of the episode. You guys may have only got... What is that? This will be the fifth or sixth game of this episode. Still pretty damn good, um, I think. But this is going to be the last game of the episode. And then we're going to have a little chit-chat. We can even have a chit-chat right now. But I definitely want to want to hear from you guys, like, how we need to improve this team. And if you guys are pro FIFA players, by all means, feel free to fill me in on how you think I should improve in terms of my foot draft challenges. Because my first two foot drafts we won. But I think that was back before they patched the game. Um, and now I'm really struggling. So we're at three straight foot drafts where we either get... Look at that. Where's where am I? Where's my team right now? Yeah, we're at three straight foot drafts where we've been knocked out in the first or second round, which is super early. Aya, come on, man! That's a good block. I don't know. Maybe everyone else is struggling like I am. I have no clue. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only person that just can't score goals. 
How was that a foul? I didn't even touch him. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this, dude. No, no, please, God, no. Oh, that, dude, right there. That was beautiful. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to freaking bulge the old onion bag. How far away was this? Oh, my Lord. That was way closer than I even thought. Oh, this guy's doing it. Good old, good old FIFA. FIFA. Tim Howard, welcome back to the team. Tim Howard, welcome back to the team. You freaking bald bearded beauty. Although Tim Howard has shaved his beard IRL, which is super disappointing. But anyways, Panty would have conceded two goals right there. He would have somehow managed to, to like make... This guy's shitting on me right now. All right, slow it down, please. For the love of all that is holy. What is happening? Please. No, no, no penos. I think Howard's got the long throw. Oh my god, I don't need to think anymore. Oh! Oh yeah, I think I'm, in fact, 100% sure that Howard has the long throw trait. I need to use that to my advantage big time. It's a great pass. Oh my god! Tim Howard, get up! Oh! Wow, dude! No, man! What is happening to my FIFA skills? That was all my fault. Tim Howard's made about six saves in the last few minutes there unreal you are the worst FIFA player ever all of a sudden all of a sudden really i've been pretty bad for a pretty damn long time nope nope why would i ever want that that was sick put it away yes instant reply i think deserved i think fully deserved Honestly, I think fully, fully deserved, okay? I'm just going to skip it. I don't even want to watch the replay. You know what? It's fine. It's now freaking 1-1. One, one. I've had a lot of chances. Both of our goalkeepers, I would say, have made the big difference here. And my inability to score my chances as well. Really? Instant reply after instant. What the hell? What is this game? What is it? What are we playing here? Oh, oh that needed to be a through ball. That was almost an instant reply after an instant reply after yet another instant reply. Nah, that was stupid. You know what? I like Fernando or Fernandao, if you will. What a pass, dude. Oh! We may have to watch that. Honestly, this... From the, from the goal, he scored to me scoring to me scoring again. You guys may be watching all of this. Okay, you didn't get to see that through ball... Uh, heel pass from Mane for a second time. But anyways, Aaron Ramsey, happy with that upgrade. 2-1. Herrera? Oh, that's a through ball of dreams. What? Dude. Just, just, just shoot faster. Please. That could be a pen. It won't be, but it could be. Please! Oh! <laughs> oh! Worst! Worst ever! Just... The chances I give myself in FIFA, I could easily win games 5, 6, you know, 6-1, six, 6-2, six, because I'm always going to concede goals. But my inability to finish the chances I create is, is mesmerizing at times. Like, it's, I think it's actually impressive how I manage to screw up my chances. And then, like, how easy it is for people to just... Wow, Rojo. I mean, I thought for sure that would have been... Like, why he froze there like an idiot. That's offside. That has to be offside, for the love of Christ. Um, why he decided to freeze, of course, before he shot, just so he would get intercepted. That's the type of stuff that, like, really, really makes me question my sanity for playing this game as much as I do. Because stuff like that makes me want to jump out of my window. Oh, I'm so frustrated, man. I always think I do the most intelligent plays and it either gets blocked or I miss it or who gets their foot in there, man? Irony too is I was aiming near post. I was, I was 100%. Oh, that's a great ball actually out from the keeper. 
We're gonna slow down. Who, who is that too, bro? Who, you've had like 15 people to pass the ball to there. I got that. Just kidding, no I don't. Here we go, great bit of play. No, Mane, stay on side! Oh my god, Kane has a cannon. That's the only that's the only way I can describe it because I feel like I put no power on that shot. Big save from uh from Brad Guzan or Guzan, however you want to say his name. But look, I didn't put any power on that and he still shit stomped it almost into the top corner. Come on, Herrera. We need something here, buddy. Please. That's a great cross in. Just kidding. Ref. Okay, blocks for days. What? Oh my... Tackle the ball! Woo! Okay, yes. Lay it off. Herrera, one touch! Oh, I thought that was in as well! Countless. I. You know what? That was also an idiotic, idiotic play there. I could have just as easily taken a touch, probably got myself in acres more space to get a proper shot on. That's a great ball from Harry Kane. Harry Kane's got like 70 passing, right? That was gorgeous. Pen? Do I get anything in this game? Do I get freaking anything in this mother effing game? Seriously. How am I not getting any type of chances here? I have no... Oh! Lord help us all, man. Rams, uh, who's this? Ramsey? Okay, right footed. Finesse it. That's okay. And easily blocked. Rip. And then I score that. And then I score that. The, the salt is real. I don't know if it's even the salt. I don't know if, he's, if it's even the salt. Like, this is what I'm saying. I do super, I what I feel is super intelligent build-up plays. Chance after chance after chance after chance. I'll get robbed or blocked or just barely miss. And then, of course, the, the, the two-goal lead goal that I get is just a moronic little scuffle in the middle of the six-yard box where Fernando puts it away. That's what pisses me off with this game. Is it like, I feel like that's the only goals that I concede. And a lot of the time, the only goals that I score is just little shitty, shitty goals. And that's not what this, isn't EA's like whole marketing for the, for this year's FIFA play beautiful? Like says who? Says who? I don't know anybody that, that is, is, can consistently play beautiful. I feel like every once in a while, I'll score a really, really nice goal, especially when I'm using Ibra. But 90% of any goals I concede or score is just stupid shit like this. Exact, exactly like that. So, I don't know, man. I'm just a little salty vagine today, which is fine. I, I like having these discussions with you guys. Hopefully you got... Wow. You see what I mean? Play, play scrappy. There you go. They said it would be fun, safe, secure, and beautiful. So far, none of any of their advertisement has, has come out true. Definitely not safe and secure, that's for sure. Oh, just no. That's a, that's a decent goal. You know what? Whatever. That's a decent goal. Just, of course, as we're saying. Just, of course, as we're saying that you can't score good goals. He has to. He has to score a goal to just make me look like a little B-I-T-C-H. Anyways. Ho, ho. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Holy boss. Jackie. No, it got intercepted. Oh god. Oh god, 85th minute cheese is coming. <gasps> no penalties! No! No, man. Oh, I just honestly, like, I just Just when I think I'm liking the game again. Just when I think I'm liking the game again. Come on, come on, come on. I still believe. I still believe we can get all three points. That's a terrible pass. Laid off. One more. Just kidding. Look at that panic clearance. We can still do this, boys. 
Oh, the fake shot into my opponent? Oh, God. Dude, no! Get it out. Kyle Walker! Oh, I am so irritated that that ended freaking... Oh! Isn't this just the perfect way to end the episode, boys? Is this not... Help me out. Help me out, guys. Please, God. Help me out. Help me. I need help. I need help. I need to go to, like, Ultimate Teams Anonymous. AA. AA for FIFA Rage or something, man. Or or AA for, 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 for just bad FIFA players or something. Like, do, do I need to go take courses on how to learn this game or play, play this game? Like... Uh, Ramsey, great introduction to the team. I, again, I can't even complain about the team. I know that I sit there and in the highlights or in the streams, you watch me and I, I sit and I, I moan and piss and moan about the team or, or, or stuff. It's all my fault. I do 100% realize that... Look at that, dude. Oh my god, I'm not even going to show you guys. I clicked through it anyways. Those stats are insane for that game to end 3-3. I know I bitch and moan about everything. At the end of the day, it is my fault. I can't blame the team. Honestly, we scored three goals. And even defensively, I thought we were good. The guy hit me on the counterattack. What? I don't remember the goals I even conceded. The final goal, of course, was a counterattack and an idiotic bounce um, that Rojo didn't settle and then sent Cameron Jerome in on net. But I actually think this team played well. I'm not, like, biased. There's no Leeds United players in the team. For God's sake, there's Man United players in the team. So, normally, if I would buy, I was biased, I'd say, Oh my God, the Man United players are shit, or whatever. But, I think this team played well. I just... It's obvious, it's, it's, it's blatantly obvious that I do too much in the final third. That's gotta be exactly what it is. Where I hold on to the ball maybe for just a little bit too long, and then I don't get my shots off. But if you guys have any advice for me on how to improve... I'm all ears. Honest to God, I am all ears. So this guy's got nine contracts. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go with a different CDM. Fernando, you know, I, I just, I didn't find he was that great. Smalling and Rojo, I think we're, I think we're decent. Holy Bass, I gotta be honest with you guys. I do think a lot of mistakes came from his side of the field. And maybe that is why he sells for so cheap. He goes for like a thousand to twelve hundred coins. So we'll make a bit of a profit on him. I think I am, for at least next episode, going to replace my CDM and my left back. Jackie Wilshire, I may also consider replacing for Musa Dembele because I think Musa Dembele was a heck of a lot more effective uh, than Jack Wilshire is. Ramsey, I really enjoyed. He got man of the match. Mane and Kane, I still think were great. Harry Kane, I'd be happy to use for a little bit more. I know that he, he only got two goals in his first game and then the last two games he didn't do anything, but he's got a cannon for uh, a, a right foot and he's great at passing. I, I think it's, again, more my fault that Harry Kane doesn't have about four or five more goals on his stats. I mean, you can see the other people that used him as well have scored goals with him, so he's definitely good. Mane, I think is great. Again, he's getting all these different assists and stuff like that, so I'm going to keep him. But you guys give me your suggestions, all right? Give me your suggestions in the comments and, you know, even in the stream, I'll talk to you guys after this recording is quote-unquote done. Help me out with improving the team, man. We've got, you know, 8,000 coins to work with. Well, no, what am I talking about? We should have a ton of coins to work with because, yes, we've cashed out on, on these two guys. So, we'll make some money back. You know what? Actually, looks like we'll have about thirty to 40,000 coins to work with by next episode. So, let me know what you think I should improve. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it all the way to here to probably like an hour and a half into the video, smash the like button. As always, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!